Well, the Bobcats started off their season strong last week with a 13 point win over UNLV. And while things look smooth on the court, you would have never guessed the chaos the Bobcats went through leading up to tip off. MTN's Ashley Washburn has that story. If there's anything that COVID-19 has taught the sports world, it's adaptability. The ability to adapt having to hold practices over Zoom because of team quarantines, the lack of scrimmages heading up to season, and even holding a team shoot around without coaches just hours before tip off because of a pending COVID-19 test. Now, if that sounds a little specific, that's because it happened to Montana State. They ended up coming back and saying, okay, it's negative, but we didn't find out until about 1.30 on game day. I met with a couple of the, you know, the veteran guys and said, hey, this is what we're doing a shoot around. They ran it. One of those veteran players was Jabril Bello. They understood that we have a big, a big opportunity here to win. And they knew that because the coach is not here, they got looking even more. The Bobcats had no issues locking in once the game tipped off against UNLV, shooting 55% from both the field and three point line with Xavier Bishop leading the way with 22 points. The way they shared the ball and the way they played for each other, that's what that's what was most impressive to me and how hard they played. You know, I mean, we didn't have a ton of time to do a lot of scouting stuff. We just had to stick to the basic stuff that we'd been working on since the summer, you know, when we when we've been able to practice. But well, last week's performance turned the heads of many basketball programs. Coach Sprinkles already turned his focus on areas the Bobcats need to improve on before their next game. It was obviously a great first step. We can't start forcing things. We still got to keep that ball moving and let the let the ball find the open shot. The Bobcats tip off their second game of the season Wednesday at the University of the Pacific. It'll be a totally different game. They're big. They're physical. It's going to be a grinded out game. You know, they're going to be able to watch that UNLV game. That's why I know we need to clean up a lot of our ball screen defense, our execution stuff, because they're not going to let us just cut wherever we want. In Bozeman, I'm Ashley Washburn, MTN Sports.